Hi friends, I'm Abby. Welcome back to Abby's Digital Nook. This is going to be a quick video. I'm going to be telling you guys how to back up your books from your Kindle using a PC. This is after all of the changes and things that happened in February. This is now how to back up the files from your Kindle using the USB method. In the last video, I showed you guys how to do it using the USB method on a MacBook, but today I'm gonna to show you guys how to do it on a PC. So a PC is actually really simple. You simply just plug it into the computer and it will pop up in its own. It will pop up as its own drive. So it will be just like loading up a hard drive and you're gonna see all of your files. So all you'll have to do is click on, um, open that up, go to documents, and then in documents, you'll see a folder called downloads. And in there, you'll find any book that you have downloaded on your Kindle. So when you're on your Kindle, and you had a book and you clicked on it to download to the device, anything you download to the device will be in that folder. Now, all of those books will be in like KFX format or like some kind of Kindle format that is exclusive to Kindle, same way it was um, that I was talking about in the previous video. Um, so you'll be able to drag and drop those files to your computer. Obviously, those are all gonna be in Kindle format, like I said, so you won't be able to use those files on any other type of device like a Kobo or a Nook or anything else. It will only be able to be read on a Kindle. So if you have multiple Kindles and you want to have a backup of the file and just drag and drop between your Kindles, you can do that locally without using the Kindle cloud storage. So here's my Kindle. Here's my wire that came with my Kindle. It's plugged directly into my computer. I'm gonna plug this in. All right, it's plugged in. It plugged in and it automatically said connected to computer. I don't have to do anything else with my Kindle. Now we're moving back over to the laptop. Now we're on the laptop. We're gonna go over to our files explorer right here. And then we're gonna go to this PC and then Kindle's gonna show up here. We're gonna double tap Kindle, double tap internal storage. After you've double tapped internal storage, you're then gonna go over to documents, double tap documents. All the books that I have on here in this folder in documents are folders, are files that I have sideloaded after converting them to EPUBs already, okay? So you're gonna go to downloads, oops, and you're gonna double tap, open that up. Then in your downloads, you'll have a folder called items 01. And then all of your files will be here that you've, all of your books will be here in KFX, KFX, KFX. Every single book that you have purchased is in KFX. Here you can see if I tap on it, obviously I can't open KFX on this computer, but it's there. You can now back this up. So now I'm also gonna tell you guys about another method to back up your books. This is a method that people have talked about a lot on Reddit and I actually did it to back up my books. And this method that I'm about to tell you is gonna be how you can get them in a different file format that is easier to strip the DRM if you're planning to strip the DRM and convert them to EPUBs. So what you're gonna need is to download the Kindle app. So before I tell you that, let me just say, like in the previous video I told you guys, there are several Mac apps that you can use to access the root files of your device. So in the last video, I showed you guys again on a Mac and I used the Kindle for USB app and then I also used the Android file transfer app. Both of those apps are for Mac only. On a PC you don't need an app, you just need to plug it in and it will show up in your in your uh, it will show up as a drive, same way if you plugged in a hard drive. So if you want to download all of your files in a different format that is easier to strip the DRM, I'll put it on the screen so you guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys want to download in a different file format, you'll need to download Kindle for PC app and I'll put the version number on the screen here so you guys know which specific version. It is an old version, but you'll need to download that specific version in order to access the files. So what you'll do is download that, install it to your computer, and then once you have this, log in to your Amazon account just like you would normally and once you're logged in it's going to show up all your books and I tested this to see if I could download new books or purchase new books so when I tested it it happened to be stuff for Kindle day for romance books so I actually downloaded about a hundred books I got them from the Kindle website I downloaded them on this Kindle for PC app and all of them showed up they all synced perfectly and what's great about this app is that anything that you have um, downloaded within the Kindle app, Kindle for PC app, is gonna show up in your files on your computer. So there's gonna be an actual file structure created in your computer with all of these files. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so once you have the Kindle for 
Kindle for PC app. It's going to look like this and you're going to see all of your books that you've downloaded. I downloaded a ton. Um, these are all from the Kindle website that have all been downloaded recently. They're all recent purchases, like in the past couple days. And um, what you have, all you need to do, if you want to download them all in bulk, just put them all into a collection. I just grabbed all of these and put them into a collection here. And then I can just download the entire collection. You just hit edit and then hit download and you can download every single book in the collection so if I do that then they're all going to start downloading into a folder on your hard drive now to find the downloaded files you go to file explorer so now you're going to type in my kindle content it's going to pop up and here it shows up here is users and documents so that's where it's located documents double tap that and this is going to be all of your books the only downside is that all of your books then for some reason it doesn't save the title of the book so it's going to be a lot of manual fixing here but these are all of your books and they're saved in a z w format so you can just drag and drop this into Calibre after you've prepped Calibre for DRM stripping. Before you drop these into Calibre to strip the DRM, you're going to need to download the um, latest version of Calibre. That's the first thing you're going to need. The DEDRM plugin, a very specific one. I will put it in the on the screen. And then you're also going to need the KFX input plugin as well. You'll need all of those prepped and set up before you drop your books into the caliber so you guys can see here everything that is on the screen is directly in my root files of my pc and i can then take all of those files out drag them to my computer and then you can use the method that is heavily notated on reddit one thing that i will say um for me, what happened for me is none of the books are titled in the file structure. So if you have hundreds of books, you're gonna have to go in and manually type in the file names of each book, um, or you can drag and drop them into Calib Calibre. Unfortunately, the books are not correctly titled, but the metadata is still accurate. So the author and everything else is there, but the titles of the book are not listed in the files which is kind of annoying and a lot of work that you're gonna to have to do, but at least you have a backup in a different file structure that can be stripped. The DRM can be stripped, I've tested it. Once Calibre is open, you can drag those AZW files into here and then you can hit convert books and you can convert it to other file formats. So I, for example, have converted it into an EPUB. So I have an EPUB version and the original AZW version. So um, I can see the name of the book here, but I will need to go in and change the title because it's kept the author, it's got the metadata as far as the author, um, the date I dropped it in here. It's got the like other metadata like publisher, well not this specific book, but a lot of them have like the publisher, the date it was published, and it has like the author. I've already fixed a bunch of these. Here's another example. But then this one, I've already converted to EPUB already because I've done my entire library already. Majority of my entire library. But um, it has a publisher, it has the, the year it was published, and then it has the size and the date I dropped it in here. And then it also has um, the author, but the title is not accurate. So in order for me to find the title, I'll need to remove this title. I'll have to like first like delete this so it's empty and then I can hit, I can then right click on it and do edit metadata and then I can do um, edit made a, uh, download metadata and covers or I can manually just type in meet your match, the title of the book. I mean, is the... To me, the edit metadata option is just a really long-winded way to do it. And honestly, you can't really do it in bulk unless you've gone in and deleted the titles of every single book you dropped in that has a different name. So like all the AZW 
files do not come in with the title. So here's another example. So I'll have to go in and type in that title, but at least I have a backup and have an EPUB. So I don't really care. I'll happily spend a day or two just editing these files and making sure that it's accurate because I now have the book for myself to put on whatever device I want to put it on. So yeah. So there's that way, even though that's a long ruling process. Alternatively, you can just simply delete the title and type in the title of the book. I mean, once you see the cover of the book or open the book, you'll be able to see know what the title is. So you can just type in the title yourself manually. Either way, it's going to be a workaround because you're going to have to go in and delete all these title names, the fake title names, which just numbers and letters. You're going to have to go in and delete all of those in order to change the titles to something to the correct one because if you do a search and find metadata with that title that's currently in there with all the numbers and stuff then it's not going to find the correct book so it's a workaround but honestly i don't care if my books don't have the correct titles that's something that i will spend time maybe just take a day and just put in all the titles i'm a quite fast typer so i i could probably just manually type it all in anyway so it's not really that big of a deal for me but it might be a big deal for you if you have like a thousand books and you're like oh my god now i have to put the title in for a thousand books it can be a lot of work so there's that there's no way to do it in bulk but again at least you have the backup of the book and you have the drm stripped and you have it converted into a different format like epub so i mean i was able to download those books using the old kindle for pc version listed on the screen and then i was able to convert all of those books into epubs and convert them into other file formats that made sense for me and my other devices that I have. So um, I just wanted to make this video so you guys understood that it is totally 100% possible to still download your Kindle files from your Kindle if you have a PC as well as a Mac. In the last video I showed you guys on the Mac. With a Mac, the process of stripping DRM is not the same. It, they, it doesn't really work on a Mac. It's a lot of work to get it done. It can be done. It's just a lot of finagling you have to do and it's a very much harder process so if you have a pc or a friend has a pc you can do it using their pc and then just back it up to your hard drive and then continue on your mac as you see fit i would highly recommend just going onto a pc to, to strip the drm if that's what you're planning to do but in order to back up your files um in a different format other than kfx zip then you want to download this kindle for pc version onto your computer and save all your books that way and then later down the line, if you want to strip the DRM using the DEDRM um, plugin on the Calibre, then I highly recommend it. So I just wanted to make this quick video for you guys so you guys knew that it was still possible. You can do this. It's definitely doable. Um, you know, I don't know how long it's going to be doable for. I'm sure eventually they'll find a way to completely eliminate this old version of the app to work on a PC and then we'll be out of luck. But for now, if you have books on your Kindle and you want to back them up and you want to convert them to a different file format, aka strip the DRM, you can still do it right now. Today is March 9th and I did it already this week, so I highly suggest that you do it. So I just want to make this video. I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're brand new to my channel and I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!